Meghan Markle looked somber as she arrived for the Queen's state funeral this morning behind Kate and Sophie Wessex. The Duchess of Sussex made her way into Westminster Abbey as her husband Prince Harry took part in a procession with other royals behind the Queen's coffin from Westminster Hall ahead of the service at 11 a.m. Meghan wore a black dress, stilettos and a large hat. Her hair was styled into a low bun and she completed her outfit with a pair of pearl earrings. She entered the abbey behind the Princess of Wales, who was with her two eldest children Prince George and Princess Charlotte, and the Countess of Wessex, who was later spotted dabbing a tear from her eye. Meghan and Harry, who are living in California after quitting royal duties in 2020, were reunited for the service as they took their seats in the second row behind the King and Queen Consort. Members of the royal family were among 2,000 guests, including presidents and prime ministers from across the globe, who gathered at the church to remember the late monarch on Monday morning. King Charles led a procession behind the Queen's coffin from Westminster Hall where she had been lying in state to Westminster Abbey for the service at 11 a.m. The king was immediately behind with his siblings Princess Anne, Prince Andrew and Prince Edward. They were followed by the Prince of Wales, Duke of Sussex and Peter Phillips. A large number of wider royals attended the funeral including Sarah Ferguson, Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie and their husbands, and the Tyndalls. Ahead of the funeral, the Sussexes were seen travelling down the mall with a police escort at around 10.15 a.m. Harry and Meghan were driven in a Range Rover from Wellington Arch, down Constitution Hill and on the mall towards St. James Palace. Four vehicles with flags were seen driving ahead of Harry's car. It comes after the Queen's lying-in-state period at Westminster Hall ended at 6.30 a.m.